seen us before you've never seen us uh, you've never, never seen, us. seen us before just one uh, just two <laughs> three some people are just afraid to admit it this ain't like rocky hour picture show we like i fuck with you what's well, because you're always fucking working <laughs> that's true the mix sound good out there everything sound all right can you hear everybody all right are we, we too loud, loud enough too loud loud, loud enough, enough too soft dom says it's and that's all that matters. That's what matters. Well, before we get this... We got some rules. Before we get this party kicked in really nice and solid, because, you know, we're just getting warmed up, we have some rules. Rule number one, make sure you guys take care of Mickey and Dom tonight. That's rule number one. Rule number two, when I drink, you drink. Speaking of which... Let's practice. We gotta got practice. All right, you guys aren't paying attention out there, okay. When he drinks, you drink, and there's a reason why. So everybody, we're trying to do this. Everybody wants to be part of the class. Raise them up. All right, up. class, let's raise your glasses in the air. When he drinks, we you all drink. drink. Ready, here we go. Let's go. And again, one now, more. Now we practice three times a week. You guys are all welcome to join us when we do that. Yeah. Uh oh, I got two of them, one in each hand. Pra practice just ended for me. What? Oh, look at that beer fairy. Hey, who you calling a fairy? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. I didn't mean to call you a fairy. He's a beer vampire. It's one of those. A things. beer. He's a beer pyre. Wait, I missed Check. it. I didn't drink. How many beer times pyre. did you drink? Beer pyre. Do I have to catch and, up? And rule number three: you're you're not allowed to get drunker than me. No, that's a fact. It's not, it's not a rule. The rule is we can't get drunker than you guys. And the reason world number two is so important because if he, you see him drinking, you gotta keep up with him. Uh, yeah, I know. Don't look at me like that. Oh, I didn't make up the rule, you did. What? Yeah, Sober Rusty made that rule up. Sober Rusty, that? Yeah. Right? I've never met that guy before. <laughs> Very few people have met that rusty. guy. And you won't. He's, he doesn't hang around very often. Or for long. Oh. Does anybody know the difference between a drunk and an alcoholic? If you do, raise your hand. That's right. Us drunks ain't got to go to those fucking meetings. <laughs> How about the meetings? Isn't that what those meetings are for? They sit around and drink and stuff? I think since we're drinking heavily right now, don't forget, when you drink, I drink. I mean, when you drink, I drink. When I drink, you... See, whatever. Let's just go just with drink, it. Just drink. Just drink. I think in the spirit of drinking and the great south, we should do some ZZ Top. Are you drinking an Hellraiser? I concur. No. <laughs> no, I mean, come on. Doesn't the south have the best whorehouses around? So... Are you talking about Florida south or Texas There's nothing like a whorehouse and drinking and a song to go with it. It is a song about a whorehouse, just so you know. So hands, who's been to 
in this morehouse? Just me? Rumors spread around in that Texas town. Just a little shack house, little grains. You know what I'm talking about. Just let me know if you wanna go to that old grains. They got nice girls out there. Yes, I do. Nice. 
Togo. Did we lose our Following vampire? Mr. MC Gillespie vampire. to the stage. MC Vampire right here. <laughs> Quit flying around outside. I know you like the outside at night. It's too fucking cold to bite anybody tonight. I had to put my... <laughs> You'll end up with a blood frozen slushy, man. You don't want oh, that. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, but last time that stuff got hooked in your teeth, it was a bitch getting it out. Yeah. You have to put a space heater in my coffin. Yeah. White man can't jump, but vampires can sing. <laughs> I don't know how they do it with teeth and stuff, but ah, they do. And he's going to show you. Well, let's see, this is a song about his coffin. Because uh, we're, we're poor, struggling musicians, and he happened to hang out with us, he doesn't even really get a coffin. It's, it's kind of more like a... A wicker basket. It yeah. is, it's a very small wicker basket, but uh, he managed it to fit in there. So uh, this, is, this is Joe's song. It's called, uh, well, we'll call it Casket Case, but for him it's something else. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Do you have the time to listen to me whine? About everything, everything I want Cause I am one of those Melodramatic fillers Neurotic to the bone, no doubt about it Neurotic vampire Sometimes I give myself the creeps Who we look to the mirror Sometimes my mind plays tricks on me It all keeps any suitcase with the wheels on it? Yes. Oh, no, wait. Oh, was it the steam trunk? I know you had that steam trunk you were looking at, brother. You, I know you said, man. And it, and it came with its own, like, opening side and it had all your clothes on the other side. I asked for steam punk, not steam trunk. Oh, I thought you said steam trunk. Oh, my mistake. Sorry. This next song is kind of a tribute to us, like I said. What it takes to put this band on stage for four hours a night. Is roughly a 12 to 15 hour day for us. Anybody here work a 12, 15 hour day? And if you do, fucking rock, yeah. Nobody, huh? Right on. Just, just that guy. <laughs> 
So we got a little saying in this band, and this saying goes, goes for everybody else that works a 12 to 15 hour day. There is no rest for the wicked. We must be pretty fucking evil. Yes. Oh my God. He was a... He was a... I was walking down the street when at the corner of my eyes saw a pretty little thing approaching me. She said, I've never seen a man who looks so all alone or could you use a little company? So you could go and send me on my way I said, you should the sweet young thing Why you do this to yourself? She looked at me And this is what she said All the rain, no rest for the wicked Running over all trees I got bills to pay I got bills to feed Ain't nothing in this world for free No, I can't stop down I can't hold back Don't you know what we did I could No, the rain, no rest for the wicked I saw a shadow of a man creep out of sight Then he swooped up from behind and put a gun up to my head I made it clear he wasn't looking for no fight He said, give me all you got I want your money, not your love But you try to make a move, I won't think twice I told him you can have my cash But you know I gotta ask Makes you wanna live this kind of life He said, well, there ain't no rest for the wicked Money on the wall trees I got bills to pay Sitting in my house, my day was winding down, coming to an end. So I turned on the TV and I looked at all the news. What I saw was couldn't comprehend. I see a pretty old man in got they think I might have been mature. She stuffed this bank account with rice and shot our bills. I was still, I can't say much, oh yes, I know what all this is. Chicken Black Sun Circus kind of thrills. And now I ain't no rest for me. This next song, I'm gonna dedicate to my ex-wives. What's really fucked up about this song is the last time I dedicated that song to them. Four of them were here! Two X's no, and... No, 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 no. Was not, two, not, not, not four X-Y. It was two X's and two... No, one X and three O's, something like that. <laughs> three O's? Oh, oh, never mind. I'm sorry, did I say that loud? There, there was a couple of them here. There was a couple of them here. There just was. And they were all looking at him really, really oh. angrily. Uh... They were all happy to be around him until he chose one, and then the other ones got pissed. That's what happens, you know what I'm saying. Rusty's what they call an overachiever. Something like that. <laughs> and what? You don't know. They were like all right here, Mickey, right there. Yeah, it was cool. None of them knew each other. What was cool at the beginning, they were all dancing for him. And then he looked at one a little too often, and the other one said, screw you, Master. Screw you, Wesley. Yeah. So, everybody, everybody's got that significant other that screwed him over, made him feel like shit. This was your chance to get even with him, even oh, if it's a guy. No, 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 no. I completely screwed him over. Trust me. It was, <laughs> I'm sure you did. I know, I know nobody's surprised. Like, who would divorce a fucking bass playing clown? Not me. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I would love him and squeeze him and hold him and that him. But anyway, I'm going to dedicate this to my ex-wives. They're all going to share it equally. You can start it, Kyle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you super sure? Super. Okay, you, really you, you only want to do this dedication. What if they walk in while you're singing? I've already checked. They're, they're not here, right? They're not here, right? None, none, none. Not yet. Okay, not cool. yet. Let's just get it out of the way then. The night is young, though. In case they do show up. I never thought I'd be the one 
see how that song gets me in trouble a lot. Yeah. How about some Jimi Hendrix? We're gonna do our spin of this song, is that okay?
all right, man. What a fucking I love Mickey's, man. This is my favorite bar. I'm from around these parts. You guys play your cards right. I might get up on the bar and do some crazy shit later for you guys. Let's see what happens. Weirdo. Weirdo. Let's see, don't we have to do your song? The what? One? What? What do you mean, my song? You know that song that Lit wrote about you? When you passed out on the park bench in Ebor City drunk with your guitar? Newspapers on you and shit. I wasn't passed out, I was napping. You were napping. Oh, your guitar was passed out. You were napping. I get it. Can't tell if there's been a nap. This band, the band Lit, I don't know, oh, you guys know who they are. They were down at Ebor City playing and really after one of their gigs, man, they were walking through one of the parks and Rusty's crashed on a park bench with newspaper on him. But he had a guitar and it was still strapped to him. Drool running down his chin, you know, and the bass was looking really hungry like it wanted a drink. Because that bass has a real drinking problem, that white one does. Anyway, they saw this dude and go, you know, sometimes, sometimes you see somebody just inspires you and this guy looks like he's really his own worst fucking enemy, he really is. Hit it, Kyle! <laughs> song, Rusty, I'm telling you. It really is. How about a little Molly Crew? Yeah? It, it's too bad they didn't write this fucking song. It, it, it's a cover. A cover. Yeah, yeah, it's a cover. Like a blanket cover? Or? What? No, this one. So, little Molly Crew, they didn't write the song. But they did make it a hit a second time around. Though. Yes, they did. It was a hit once before. If you know it, sing along. One, two, three, four. Woo! <laughs> Give me a bag of the game, and everybody came down on you from your teacher and your best girlfriend. And you had about all that bullshit you was gonna pay. So you just Snuck up on us the, the bathroom on the second floor. 
Roll up a nice big fat one. Yo. You just proceed to smoke all that bullshit away. Well, that's how I remember it. Hopefully that's how you remember it. Let me tell you about it. Well, we'll be right back. Stick around. We're just getting this party started. 